good afternoon and welcome to my office again my name is Dr. Cap and I will be seeing you today um, the receptionist tells me that you're here for another uh, cranial nerve exam is that correct good okay well really briefly I just want to take some of your basic information um, particularly just your weight to see if that's changed at all and then I'd like to uh, uh, take a look at your heart or rather I'll listen to your heart and then uh, have you go through some quick breathing exercises so that I can take a quick listen to your lungs as well um, but I need to log some info um, confirm your date again for me date of birth that's right okay wonderful and has your weight changed at all since last time you came here okay beautiful and um uh address anything like that changed you're still in the same place okay beautiful and uh insurance is that the same handler same company got gotcha. you wonderful and with the last time you came in if I'm not mistaken we wrote you a z-pack prescription for your sinuses did that go okay okay wonderful all right um well let's go ahead and just dive right into it then you know how this goes this is not your first cranial nerve exam um, but I know that you find them relaxing as do many of my patients, so feel free to uh, close your eyes. If you nod off, that's fine, too. I'll just uh, tap you on the forehead and wake you up. <laughs> okay. Let's get a quick listen to your heart. So if you could, just breathe normally for me. Good. Very strong heartbeat. Very healthy. Good. And continue just breathing normally for me. Good. Good, good. Good job. Okay. All sounds perfect there. Now let's go ahead and take a listen to your lungs. What I just need you to do is just breathe in deeply through your nose and just exhale through your mouth. Yep. So, the count of three. One, two, three. Breathe in. Good. And exhale. Good. And another breath in. Exhale. Very good. And breathe in deeply. Exhale. Good job. And let's get one more. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. sounds perfect no concerns at all I'll go ahead and write that down real quick and we'll get started with the actual exam beautiful okay my friend do you have a particular um, part you'd like to start with first Okay, the, the feel test, the sense of touch, we can do that, no problem at all. Uh, essentially, it's the same thing, I'm going to get a, a sharper object and then a dull, soft object and I'm just going to have you close your eyes and I'm going to poke around your face and you just tell me whether it's sharp or dull. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and probably feel around your neck, your chest area, your hands. Okay. So what we'll do first is get our... 
sharp tool. It's essentially just a pick. Like so. It's not too sharp. If it was, I wouldn't use it. And then we'll just get a standard Q-tip. Okay, so go ahead and close your eyes for me. I'm just gonna lean in. You tell me sharp or dull, okay? and open your eyes now. Yeah, you did a really good job. Got those all perfectly right. So, well done. Okay, now what I want to do is just kind of feel around on you. I'm probably going to want to feel on your scalp. Um, and then I'll move over to your uh, neck area, cheeks, hands, chest. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and start with your scalp here, so. Everything feel okay there? No discomfort at all? Okay, good. Let's try this side now. And how'd that feel? Yeah, feel fine, okay. Wonderful, good to hear that. Now I'm just gonna try the top of your head here, so. Everything feels okay there, too. Okay, good, perfect. Now what I wanna do is feel around your neck, so. Any discomfort at all there? We're going to uh, check, uh, check your chest, feel around your collarbones, your chest area. So I'm just going to tap. Any discomfort there at all? No? Good. Okay. That is what we want to hear. So now I want to just get a quick feel of your hand. So give me your hand. Good. You feel all that, each finger. Okay, how about this hand? You feel all that, each finger, pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb. Good, okay, wonderful. Wonderful. You passed that portion with flying colors as you usually do. So good job. Now what we want to do is move on to Yeah, your call. The vision test. I don't blame you, I like that one myself. 
We can do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a physical exam of your eyes with my flashlight. Taking a look at your left eye and right eye repeatedly. Okay. Okay. Do me a favor and just look right here in my nose. Okay. Good. Just checking how your pupils dilate. Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna get a little closer now. On this left side, I'm gonna go ahead and pull your eyelid down and just check the eye health. So, looking into your left eye here, making sure there's no redness or swelling in the muscles of the eyes. Sclera is nice and Okay, that left side looks great. Let's go ahead and check the right side now. Same thing. So, just pulling down your eyelid here, checking your eyes for any excessive swelling or redness. Everything looks good though here. Checking the sclera. Everything is clean, nice and white. No abrupted blood vessels or veins. Your eyes look great. Uh, the overall health in general is very good. I see no issues at all. Um, so that's good. Now we're going to go ahead and check and see if you're seeing okay. And I trust that your prescription in regards to your eyeglasses hasn't changed since last time. Okay. That's good. I'll write that down. And the overall eye health was very good. Cool. Now we're going to do a brief vision test. Uh, just a quick look at a snow chart. So, okay, really quickly, I just need you to read line four. You can read this line. How about the line under it? Good. Okay. And really quickly, can you tell me what color that is? Red. Good job. And how about this color here? Green. Good work, my friend. Very good. That's very good stuff. Okay. Now I want to check your peripheral and see um, if your eyes are picking up objects in the peripheral relatively uh, and remotely the same. So you just let me know when my finger enters your field of view. Okay. Good. wiggles now. Good. 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 Okay. Wonderful job, my friend. Um, there's no issues at all with your eyes, so that's good, of course. 
and I'll just write that down here. You're doing a really good job. Um, I didn't think you'd have any issues at all, but um, proving to me again that you are a, a stellar patient. Okay, so now what we want to do is the taste test, the smell test, or the hearing test. Smelling test, okay. Again, you know this, but I have a series of um, little suture sort of bottles. These are different than the ones from last time, but essentially it's the same thing. It's just a naturally flavored, uh, fragranced rather, um, liquid. And I'm just going to kind of waft it gently in front of your nose. You'll take a deep breath in, and then you'll just let me know what the smell is. Does that sound good? Good, okay. This is our first one. I just gotta make sure I shake it up real good. Because if I don't, this stuff will settle. And you might not smell it as good as you would. Okay, so. What does that smell like? Pineapple, very good. this one smell like? Take a deep breath. That one's vanilla. Yeah, good job. Very good. That one smells good. I like this one too. one is? I bet you guess it. That one is coffee, yeah. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I'm a big coffee drinker. but not least. Correct, that one is actually mint. Yeah, that's a new one. That one smells really good too. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Okay, well. Again, my friend, and as always, you passed with flying colors, so good job. Beautiful. Okay, now what do you want to do? Do you want to do the the uh, um, taste test or the hearing test? Okay, that sounds good. I like the hearing test too. For this, I'm going to use a tuning fork just to get a brief reading and understanding of the levels that your ears are hearing um, and if there's any discrepancy between left and right ear, respectively, and then I'll know um, whether to sort of um, um, compensate my testing in one ear or the other. So we're going to start over here on your uh, right ear. So 
Let me know when you can no longer hear this tuning fork. Beautiful, good job. All right, now we're gonna go to your other ear. Good work, and one more time. Good, good job, okay. It sounds to me like both ears are hearing pretty much the same, at the same level. So that's good. Um, now what I want to do is just repeat uh, after me. I'll say a series of words respectively into each ear, um, and you'll just repeat the word you hear. Okay, really simple. Bear. Bear, good. Rare. Rare, good. Read, good. Leave. Leave, good job. Dance. Prance. Dance and prance, good. Listen, good. Mission. Mission, listen and mission. Perfect job. Great. Great. Date. Date, good. Dinner. Dinner. Good job. Beautiful work, my friend. It's safe to say your ears are hearing as they should be, and I didn't think they weren't because you were very attentive when you first got here, so good job. Beautiful work, my friend. Now we're going to move to the taste test, which is probably one of my favorites. Let me backtrack a little bit, though. Um, I do want to take a quick look into your ears, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. I have here on my ophthalmoscope. I'm just going to lean really closely here, okay? So just ignore me. Everything looks perfectly fine in that um, right ear. Now we're gonna look at your left, okay? Okay, and I see nothing to be concerned about there either. So that's good stuff, okay. Just a simple taste test, okay? And what I'm gonna do is use the same stuff as last time, but I have new fragrances, uh, or rather tastes, samples, so. Hopefully you didn't eat before you came. 
if you didn't, you're gonna be hungry after you leave here because this is just a little taste test. Okay, so the first one here is really good. And as you can see, it kind of is a thicker substance than the last one. But it definitely carries more flavor as well. So that's the upside. It's not as watered down. Okay, so. Alright, just go ahead and stick your tongue out for me. What's that one taste like? It's like an apple puree. Yeah, yeah. Tastes like a sort of like apple crisp pie. Yeah, oh yeah, that one's really good. Big fan. This one's actually really good too. They're actually all really good. Sometimes when I don't have a patient here, I just um, chug them. Because they're delicious. I'm just kidding. Okay. What does that one taste like? Yeah, that one does. It tastes exactly like orange sh uh, sherbet or sorbet. Yeah, that one's good, like ice cream. Good. Running out of room in my little drawer there. This one is a little bit um, overbearing, admittedly, but, um, you know, if you can't taste it, let me know. You should taste it pretty quickly, though. <laughs> okay. good that's cinnamon super strong yeah my bad I can see your uh, reaction there you okay okay good just wanted to make sure you look you look uh, like you didn't like that one very much but that's good okay and last but definitely not least Save the best for last. And it is really, really good. I'll even give you a hint on this one. This could go in a coffee. Okay, open up. Instant. Yeah, it's a brown sugar caramel or caramel, however you say it. But either way, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, if you want, I can give you the brand of these and you can order some, put them in your coffee. It's just sugar, so. Sure. Um, they're called Caps Custom Calorie crutches because you can you can 
drink them and not feel like you're gaining too much weight, you know. I mean, I made that whole thing up that you can't order this. Sorry. Um, but I do have good news, and it is that you passed everything with flying colors. You have zero to be concerned about, as I suspected, and um, you can leave here. Rest assured that you're in tip-top health, so... Congratulations, my friend. Um, that'll do it here if there's nothing else. Um, receptionist will see you out front and get you wrapped up. Good news, my friend. All right, well, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. You're very welcome. Bye now. Hey there. Welcome to my office. You must be my cranial nerve patient. Good. Okay. Well, are you familiar with what a cranial nerve exam is? You are? Good. Well, that saves me some explaining. Um, with that said, this is going to be a rather uh, extensive cranial nerve exam. I want to touch on every basis, okay? Each one of your senses. And I'm going to really dive into it and make sure that, you know, you're squared away before I send you home, okay? Um, as you know, these are pretty simple. All I need you to do is just sit back, relax, and enjoy the process. Trust that you're in good hands, and I will uh, do the best I can to make sure that you feel comfortable and uh, safe. Um, and again, if there's anything uh, during these tests that make you uncomfortable, please let me know. I'd be happy to uh, get it mediated for you, okay? So, um, I'm just going to stop at the start at the top, rather, and uh, we'll just go down. So I'm going to go ahead and probably um, do a little hands-on test, um, make sure you're feeling everything okay, and then we'll move on to the vision and so forth and so on, okay? Sure thing. Let me get my gloves popped on and we'll get started, okay? of the test. I'll also want to check your heart rate and uh, give your, your lungs a quick listen just to make sure that your breathing sounds good and that your heart is nice and strong, okay? And again, there's no worries at all. This is very standard practice and uh, just sort of helps me establish a baseline for your overall health and also allows me to kind of hear your internals and see how you're doing okay so go ahead and knock that out first I'm gonna get a little closer, okay? Listen to your heartbeat first, so here we go. And just breathe normally for me. Good, good job. Perfect. Good, very good. You sound very Now what I want to do is listen to your breathing, so I'll put this um, stethoscope here towards your side on your ribcage, your abdomen area around back, and i uh, just have you breathe. I'll uh, follow my instructions on this one, okay? Cool, all right. So on my count, just breathe in deeply and hold it, okay? One, two, three, breathe in deep. Hold. Exhale. Good, and breathe in deep. Good. 
I'm just gonna come around back here, okay? Okay, well, I got good news. You sound exactly like you should. Um, so that's good. You passed that portion of the test with flying colors. I'm going to go ahead and log our results here, and then we'll get started on the, uh, the feeling portion that I was telling you about previously, okay? And this notebook is going to just um, allow me to record our findings here, okay? I like to do things the old school way. Uh, essentially what I wrote is that you passed that portion of the test, okay? <laughs> if you want to call it a test. So what I'm going to do here is I've got this pick here. It's it's not too sharp, okay? It's just pointed, and I've got this brush here, okay? And what I'm going to do is have you close your eyes, and I'm just going to gently uh, either poke you with this pointed tip or softly brush your face with this brush. And you just tell me whether it's hard or, sh uh, excuse me, sharp or um, soft, okay? Sounds pretty easy. Yeah, okay. Well, it, it is pretty easy, so go ahead and close your eyes for me. I'm going to get a little closer here, um, and we'll begin the test, okay? Okay, perfect. Sharp, yep, good. Sharp, good. Soft, good. Sharp, good. Sharp, good. Soft, soft, sharp, soft. Sharp. Good. Soft. Good. Sharp. Sharp. Good. Soft. Good. Soft. Good. Sharp. Soft. Good. Okay. Well, my friend, it seems to me that you have no issues at all determining uh, the soft from the sharp, which tells me that the nerves in your face are working as that exactly as they should be. So again, you've passed that little portion. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just to continue um, this particular test is um, 
feel around your face, okay? I'm gonna pat in your eyes, eye socket, kind of around your eyes, above your eyes, and your cheekbones, okay? Um, jawline, neck area, forehead, brow, all that stuff. And uh, while I'm doing this, um, I'll be feeling for any um, knots, bruises, anything of that nature. And if any of this is uncomfortable, okay, if there's any point in which I touch your face and it causes you pain, please let me know. And we'll uh, take a closer look, okay? Good, perfect. All right, well, you can keep your eyes open or close them for this portion. I'll go ahead and get started, okay? Perfect. All right, here we go. discomfort there along the eyes? No. Okay. Now I'm just feeling above your brow here. Doing so on the right side, and then we'll go to the left side. Is there any discomfort there at all? No? Good. Good, good, good. And just feeling above your brow line again here. Was any of that uncomfortable? No? Good. Okay. Beautiful. Now I want to feel around your cheekbones, okay? So... How's that feel? Okay. No discomfort there, I trust. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Chin here. Just gonna tap, tap, tap. Is that uncomfortable at all? Good, okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and check your forehead here. Any of that uncomfortable at all? No, good. Okay. And uh, last but not least, um, I'm gonna go ahead and check your neck area and your left nose, okay? Good. Is that uncomfortable at all? Okay, good. I'm not feeling any swelling at all. So that's good. No swelling at all. You do, however, feel a little bit warm around your neck. Have you been noticing uh, the chills or anything like that? You think you might have a fever or anything? Okay, have you been sick at all in the past week or so? Just had a little cold. Okay, let me go ahead and check your temperature while you're here, okay? Just to make sure that you're not uh, infected with anything viral, okay? Just sit still for me, okay? All right. Ninety-eight point five. So pretty normal there. No concerns at all. Place this back in our container here. So, obviously, you're able to feel everything feels good in the face, no issues with the nerves in the face. Um, and then again, you didn't feel any discomfort when I was tapping around your facial structure or anything like that. So, I don't see anything to be concerned about there. I'm going to go ahead and log our notes real quick, and then we'll move on to the vision portion of the test, okay? Good. Perfect. You're doing a good job, by the way. Keep up the fantastic work. Now what I want to do is 
um, get some really basic standard measurements from uh, your face just to uh, have a log and make sure there's no um, changes next time you come see me. So I'm going to get our little tape measure and I'm going to go ahead and get started on that test or, uh, excuse me, process. So. All I need you to do is just sit still and relax, and I will uh, just begin getting my basic measurements, okay? So what we're going to do first is go eye to eye here. Okay. Nose here, good. Chin to cheek. And it is exactly symmetrical with your other side, so that's that's good. Let's go ahead and get your forehead now. And just making sure that everything is as it should be. Good. And lips. Good. And now we're going to get um, the sides of your face here. And that looks good. How about this side? It should be the exact same, give or take a millimeter or so. And it is right on target, so that's good. Now I just want to get your jawline here. Good, and it's the exact same on that side as well, so. That's exactly what we're looking for. Great job. Okay, my friend. Well done. For this test, I'm gonna get my ophthalmoscope out. We're gonna take a little close look at your eyes and your pupillary response. Okay, you've had any trouble seeing uh, vision, whether it's far, close, uh, color, anything like that. Okay, so nothing really comes to mind, sure. <laughs> So I don't think we'll have anything to be concerned about, but we always want to take a look anyways. Um, the first part of this will be just a uh, quick um, check of your pupils. Make sure that they're dilating accordingly when I introduce light to them. And then I'll have you perform a series of tests. Uh, involving peripheral peripheral vision as well as um, your ability to follow my fingers and uh, use your eyes to um, track my fingers. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and pop this on, get a closer look at your eyes, okay? Perfect. So you just... shoulder, I'm going to check your left eye here, good, and it's responding beautifully, no issues at all here, good, all right, now I'm going to check your right eye, same thing. So just look over this shoulder now, okay? Just look right here, my finger, good. Keep looking at my finger. 
finger. And I'm going to pull down your lid here on your right eye. Look right here in my light now, please. Good. And I don't see anything to be concerned about there. Good. So we can place this ophthalmoscope down. Um, I'm not an eye doctor, a general practitioner, but... Um, this is usually what an optometrist will use. Um, I like to use this tool just to uh, get a directed look into the eye and the pupils, um, to see pupillary responses, to make sure that your eyes are working at the bare minimum, uh, reactive how they should be to the light stimulation. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this um, tool down and then we'll move on to just a basic flashlight and have you perform a series of tests, okay? Good, all right. flashlight here it's not too bright hopefully but I need you just to uh, follow my directions here okay all right good so without looking in my light focus on my finger I'm just gonna have you follow my finger using your eyeballs only okay don't move your head at all good Back, 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 back. Follow it. Good. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, but with the other eye. So, again, without looking at my light, keeping your head completely still. Follow my finger. Good. Good. Coming closer. Follow my finger. Good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take another look at your pupils here. I don't see anything to be concerned about, but I always want to make sure I dive in oh, really close. Okay, so I am going to get rather close this time, if that's okay with you, um, face to face. And uh, take a closer look at your eyes, okay? We're going to start with your left eye, and then we'll go to your right. Is that okay? Good, okay, here we go. And taking a look at your left eye here. Good. Pulling down your lid and pulling up your lid now. Good, very good. And no issues there with the people there, your response. Beautiful. Very good. Now we're going to do your right eye, okay? Wonderful. Here we go. Okay, the eyes are looking fantastic. That'll do it with our light. I'll go ahead and put this away, and I'm just going to have you, again, follow my fingers, okay? Cool. Okay, for this portion, very easy, okay? I'm just going to have you follow my fingers, okay? So... Let me know when they come into your peripheral, into your, your vision, okay?
good. 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 Good, good, good. Okay. Now a very basic test here. I just need you to tell me which one of my fingers is wiggling. Keep your head completely still and let me know which finger wiggles. Just point at it, okay? Cool. All right, here we go. You're doing a good job, by the way. Yep. Yep. Yep, good job. Good. 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 Good work. Okay. Um, you passed that portion of the test also with flying colors. I see nothing to be concerned about. Um, really briefly, I do want to check your vision and see if you are able to see colors well. Okay, so really standard, basic uh, test here. I'm just going to point at a color and you let me know what color it is. Cool. Okay. Can you tell me what color that is? Yellow. Good. What about the cheeks here? Red. Yep, that's right. Can you tell me what color this is here? Blue. Beautiful. And what about this color here? Sort of an aqua green. Yep. Good. Very good. Okay. Now what I want to do is just uh, have you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up um, using your peripheral vision. So just focus in on my nose and I'm going to have my hands up like this and you just let me know how many fingers you see. Okay. All right. So three. Yep. Four. Six. Good. Ten. Perfect. Two. Two, two, three, six, eight, seven, five, good, two, two, one, four, three, three, Ten, five, five. Good job. That's perfect. I don't see anything to be concerned about at all there with that portion of the test either. So, so far we got your uh, touch, sense of touch. Um, we got your eyes taken care of. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to your ears. And this is a very easy test as well, but it's one that a lot of my patients find quite relaxing. So what I'm going to do as get lean in a little closer, I'm just going to whisper words to you, and you just let me know uh, what words I, I'm saying. I'll get gradually quieter uh, as this test progresses, and uh, there shouldn't be any trouble for you to uh, pick up what I'm saying, okay? Cool. All right, so I'm going to get a little closer, and you just repeat the words I'm, t I'm, I'm saying to you.
a bit, yeah. Toilet, yeah. Clothing, clothing, clothing. Clothing, yeah, good job. Jacket, jacket, jacket. Jacket, good. Keyframe, keyframe, keyframe. Keyframe, yep, good job. Building, good. Football. Football, football, football. Football, good. Basketball. Yep. Baseball. Good. Soccer. Good. Misunderstood. 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 Misunderstood, yep. Yeah. Optimal, good. Swimming pool, swimming pool, swimming pool, swimming pool, good. Product, 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 good. Lipstick, 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 good. Blush, good. Great job, my friend. That is a good job. Now I have uh, um, two different tuning forks, and I'd like to uh, test your hearing with those as well. Two separate frequencies, and what I'll do is I'll activate the tuning fork and gradually move it away from your ears. And you just let me know when you can no longer hear the uh, frequency being emitted, okay? Great, sure thing. start out with our higher pitch one so just let me know when you can no longer hear this good Great job, my friend. And now we'll move over to this one. It's a little bit lower, but it should still be easy enough for you, okay? Cool. Good. Good job. Great job. Okay. That's a easy enough test, um, and with the hearing and the vision, you both passed both of those with flying colors, so good job. I didn't think you'd have any issues with those, to be honest. Now what I want to do is take a look into your ears, just to make sure there's no blockages or any uh, wax buildup that we should be concerned about, okay? So I'm just going to get my ophthalmoscope, change the tip out, and I'll take a look, okay? Good, all right. Okay, so just sit still. I'll pull your ear down like a like so, and uh, take a quick look. All right, good. And just checking for any wax buildup. And so far, that right ear is looking very clean, very very clean. And we'll go 
go ahead and check out your left ear now. Pulling down your left ear. And that left ear is also looking very clean, so I don't see anything to be worried about at all there either. I'm going to go ahead and place our tools back where we found them and uh, write down our findings and then we'll move on to the uh, smell test. Does that sound good? Cool. All right. Okay. Now as far as your ears go, you've been hearing everything okay, I trust. Good. And like I said, I didn't see any issues at all there, so everything checks out. You're doing a great job. Again, keep up the good work. And for this portion, I have a um, a series of scents, scented uh, liquid that I will disperse in the air in front of you. I'll just kind of waft it towards you. And it shouldn't be any issue for you to uh, figure out what the fragrances are and uh, report back to me what you think. Sure, okay. This is our first one. There are actually um, five of these, all very distinct um, fragrances, so you should be able to uh, discern the differences and figure out what they are individually, okay? Cool. All right, so here's our first one. Lemon, yep, perfect, great job. And this one. That one is coffee, good job. That's, that's a very good smell. It's more of a vanilla bean sort of coffee, but it's still coffee, so good job. Yes, that one is a vanilla fragrance. Good job. I like that one a lot, too. Here we go. It's lavender, actually. Good job. Close enough. That one's kind of tricky. Um, a lot of people really don't know what lavender smells like, but you must have grown up around candles, so good job.
and last but very uh, not least. Leather, yeah, yeah, that's not a edible, but it's leather nonetheless. Very distinct smell, more of a sandalwood kind of kind of fragrance, but um, close enough. So, good job. You are doing a great job, my friend. Um, and for our next portion of the test, and our last portion, we're just gonna taste. Excuse me, test your taste. Uh, essentially, just gonna use a couple um, artificially flavored uh, liquids to. Uh, apply a few drops to your tongue and you'll just tell me what you taste it's just as simple as that so does that sound good okay cool we'll get started now so go ahead and stick your tongue out and can you tell me what you tasted there Coffee, exactly. And go and stick your tongue out. Good. What do you taste there? Cinnamon. Perfect. Yeah, that one tastes a lot like Christmas, so I like that one a lot. Okay. Just a few more. Stick your tongue out for me. What's that one taste like? Apple. Beautiful. Sour apple, actually. Yeah, good. Last but not least, what's that one taste like? Vanilla, yeah. Yep, that one's really good too. So, you pass that portion of the test with flying colors. What I do want to do while I have you here on the mouth portion of the test is just have you open up real wide. I'm going to get my light and take a few quick looks at the back of your throat just to make sure you don't have any irritation or anything abnormal going on back there. Does that sound good? Wonderful. Okay. Okay. Open up wide for me. And good. Go ahead. Put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Like so. Good. And stick your tongue out wide. Ah. Good. To the left. And good. To the right. Good. Now, uh, if you could, one more time, to the roof of your mouth, open up wide like this. Good. Okay. Well, my friend, everything looks like it should. And with that, that will uh, make up our test. Go ahead and write my findings down, but between me and, me and you, you, uh, you passed it with flying colors and really didn't see anything out of the ordinary, so. Line for next time when you come in, we'll know um, sort of what to look for. But um, if you don't have anything else for me, um, you can go ahead and get out of here and uh, have a fantastic day. Sounds good, my friend. Well, it was a pleasure uh, 
seeing you today and going through this exam with you, and I hope that we can uh, continue this in the future. Hey there, and welcome back to my office. Um, I'm under the impression from our previous visits that you prefer to be relaxed during these cranial nerve exams. So I've gone to the Liberty and uh, darkened our background a little bit as well as just kind of brought the overall ambiance here more in line with the uh, purpose of this video. So um, feel free to relax, make yourself at home, um, and participate in the cranial nerve exam as much or as little as you'd like. I'm here for you and your relaxation. And I hope that this doctor's visit will help you to feel relaxed and ultimately fall asleep or get the tingles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with um, our um, heart rate and see you know, how you're sounding. I'm going to listen to your lungs as well. I'm also going to take your temperature, see if you have a fever or anything like that. And then uh, we'll just move straight into our exam. Um, my son told me that your visit with him went well, uh, and he left me a little treat to uh, give to you at the end of this exam. So hopefully you'll stay uh, aware enough to receive the gift that he had for you. Um, but enough about that. Let's uh, just dive right into it. So first we want to get our stethoscope here. And I'll go ahead and warm it up for you so you don't feel the shock of the cold. How have things been with you, by the way? You're doing okay? Good, that's what I like to hear. Good, good. Okay. So you know the procedure. I'm just gonna place this on your chest here. And I just need you to breathe normally for me. Okay, well, everything sounds fine, so there's nothing to be concerned about there. Good job. Go ahead and hang this up here on my stand. Now what I want to do, like I said, is take your temperature. So, we have our hands-free uh, thermometer here. Just uh, sit still. Okay, so you're looking pretty normal. Let's go ahead and check one more time just to uh, be sure. Yep, you're 
good to go there as well. So that's good. All right, now what I want to do is I want to pop my gloves on and we'll get cracking, okay? even have the dark gloves to make sure that nothing's too obtrusive here. Because after all, this is all about your relaxation. So, let's go ahead and get started. What I want to do first is our sense of feeling in your face, okay? So, I'm going to perform a little test here. So, the first thing I'm going to do, okay, I've got a little spritz of water here, just standard water. feel the sensation, okay? Okay. Easy enough. Let's start with the left cheek here. So just sit still for me. I'm just going to give you a quick splash. Did you feel that? Good. Okay. Perfect. that. Good, okay. I'll go ahead and wipe that off for you. And Good, okay. Now what I want to do is I've got this little pick here. It's a, actually a gem um, stone grabber, but I'm just going to apply it very softly to your skin around your face, and I just need you to tell me if you can feel the uh, slight, very slight pinching sensation. It's not going to hurt, so don't worry. Okay. side there seems like it feels just fine so I'm gonna do the right side now same thing just tell me when you can feel the sensation Beautiful. Well, seems like your sense of touch and feeling in your face is just fine. 
And I'm going to do one more little test, really just me feeling around your face, and let me know um, if any of this is uncomfortable or anything, okay? If there's any pain or anything like that. But it should not be. So I'm gonna stand up for this part, okay? Just come a little closer um, and kind of feel around. Was any of that uncomfortable at all? No? Okay, beautiful. It's exactly what I want to hear. Okay, well that part is officially complete. Now we'll move on to your vision test. To do this, I'll perform another series of tests, as you already know. Um, but um, I'm going to be using um, two different ophthalmoscopes this time. One's going to uh, be more broad spectrum, a little wider uh, D. A fused sort of light. The other one's going to be more of a focused beam. So um, I'll take a physical look at both of your eyes. That one and that one. And then uh, I'll do a series of tests, testing your peripheral uh, vision and whatnot. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So. First, I want to take a general look at your eyes. Okay, so just uh, focus on my nose while I do this. Okay. Checking your left eye here for any noticeable issues in the eyelid here. Good. Just look right here in my nose. Good. Pulling down your lid here. Okay, and now we're going to check your right eye now, so same thing, just focus on my nose here, good. Taking a look at the uh, bottoms of the eyelid here, and then taking a quick look here at the top. Is any of that uncomfortable when I feel around it? No, good, okay. And the overall general consensus here is that your eyes are in physically good shape. So, that's good. Now what I want to do, like I said, is get our more focused light. This is going to allow me to look. Um, more into the back of your eye, the optic nerve, uh, and really diagnose if there's any issues there. Um, also, it's going to allow me to take a better look at your sclera and the uh, iris, as well as your pupil response. So, um, I'm just going to lean a little bit closer for this one, and you don't have to do anything besides for a look straight into this little light source here, okay? Okay, good.
that uh, left eye. Looks really good. Now we're going to check your right eye. So the same thing. Just look straight into my eye. good there too. No worries at all. So, good job. Now, what I want to do is just um, perform a quick series of tests here. And my glasses are a little dirty, so let me clean these off real quick. you to do here is just look right here in my nose. I'm going to introduce this light into your uh, eyes, but just focus on my nose. I'm checking your people there response. job. Keep up the good work. Now we're going to do a swinging light test. So just again focus on my nose. You're doing a good job. I'm going to cover one eye and introduce light to uh, the open eye. I'm just focus again on my nose. Okay. Just seeing how the other eye responds once I remove my hand and everything looks good there. So, same thing on this other eye here. good there so good job now we're just going to do a really quick uh, uh, peripheral exam so what I need you to do can you see my hands okay I know the background's dark you can okay what I need you to do is uh, just focus on my nose again and uh, I'm just going to introduce my uh, fingers and hands into your peripheral you just let me know just say yes when you can see them enter your field of view. Does that sound easy enough? Okay, good. All right, so look at my nose. Good. 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 Good, all right. Focus on my hand here, and let me know when my other hand enters your peripheral. Good. 
Good. Good. Okay. Beautiful, my friend. Same thing on this side. Focus on this hand. Good. 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 Wonderful. Good job. Okay. There you go. That should do it for that. Um, really quickly, just uh, let me know how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? Four, yep. Three. Six. Four. Five, good job. just necessary to make sure that the baseline vision uh, and read out from your eyes to your brain is working how it should be if I do this and you say 20 we probably got some problems but you did a good job so uh, no worries at all now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna test your sense of smell and this is a very easy test I've got a few vials here in my little drawer and uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the top off that vial, waft it in front of your face. You just let me know what smell uh, you smell, essentially. Okay. Just gonna mix it up a little bit so the solution can seem to settle sometimes and it's not as strong. Okay. All right, my friend. What does that smell like? Lavender. Yeah, good job. It's kind of a niche smell. It surprises me when people get that one, actually. But... I know you enjoy trying to guess these beforehand. But I promise you're not going to get this one. Dr. Cap has a few tricks up his sleeve still. Okay. What does that smell like? That one is actually, yeah, it's banana. Good job. Good job. One more after this one. that one smell like that one actually smells like lemons yep it's got a very uh, um, citrus citrusy smell to it so good job yeah this is our last one okay I thought I might add one more Okay. 
What's that one smell like? That one smells like toffee. Yeah, with the tea. Quite niche. A little more like caramel. Toffee. Same difference, pretty much. But yeah, you spot on. Good job. Good job. Okay, my friend. Um, well, you passed that test with flying colors. So we've got our uh, sense of touch, our vision test, sense of smell. My son had the sense of taste test. But we'll save that one for the end. We'll go ahead and do our hearing test now. And, uh, you know, this one seems to be your favorite, so... I'll just go ahead and knock this one out for you. Um, but what I'm going to do is perform a series of tests on each ear. Um, the first test I'm going to do is um, just ask you um, if you're able to hear my gloves sort of wrestling, wrestling rather, in each ear. And I'm going to move my hands further away and you just let me know when you can no longer hear them. But first, can you hear this? Good. How about this? Good. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with your left ear here. Let me know when you can no longer hear my hand. Okay. Good job. That's pretty far. Couldn't get my arm any further out. Let's try this one now. Good. All right. Beautiful. All right. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, move from ear to ear and just say a series of words. Um, and you just repeat the words that I tell you. It's very simple. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that seemed pretty easy for you. Now I'm going to do it even more uh, subtle. And you may or may not pick up on what I'm even saying, but it's more or less just to see how your ears and, and you're uh, able to pick up consonants. Um, so it's going to maybe a little, be a little bit uh, unintangible. But uh, we're going to give it a shot anyways. And you just let me know uh, what I say, if you can.
couple of them, but that's really just a test to see if you can pick up at all, and you did a great job at that, so A plus there. Now we're going to get to the final test, which is the one that my son, uh, he's going to med school, yeah, he's, you know, sweet soul, sweet kid, but uh, we're going to let him do this last one, not really him, but we're going to use his test, and it really is just one item, okay, um, and you just have to let me know if you can taste it, okay, I'm going to try to cover it up the best that I can, what it actually is. Um, and then I'll show you afterwards. So, if you can taste this, you can taste them all. That's what he says. He's not right. He's not a doctor yet. But, uh, uh we'll let him have this one, so. Taste that real quick before it drips all over my hands. Yeah, he, he's a funny guy. Really funny guy. Wonder where he gets his sense of humor from. Can you tell me what that tastes like? It is actually, yeah, it is honey. Yeah, good job. It's his favorite item. He loves honey. Good stuff. Okay, my friend, well, I am very glad we were able to get that knocked out for you. Your sense of taste, your sense of feeling, smell, hearing, vision, all of that is exactly as it should be so good job on your health Dr. Bailey, as you already know, and I will be doing your cranial nerve exam today. I'm sure you're very familiar with all the steps that a cranial nerve exam entails. We'll be checking your eyes, your sense of taste, your ability to hear, your, your ability to smell, and uh, just the general feeling around your face with your olfactory nerve. So make yourself comfortable. Um, this is a very easy test, just following simple instructions. I'll be kind of going around uh, administering these different tests, so all you have to do is just follow my instructions. We'll be over before you know it. Um, for starters, what I want to do, as always, is check your heart rate and get a listen to your lungs, just to make sure that uh, everything sounds as it's supposed to. So we're going to do that. First, I'm going to pop on some gloves, so give me a moment. got a new case of gloves, so sometimes they can be finicky to pull out of the, the top there. But at least they give you a lot of them. Do you have a busy week plan this week, or are you pretty pretty easy schedule? Understand, it's a, kind of a, a strange time of year between seasons, but it feels like it's getting a little warmer out, so that's nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop in the old 
stethoscope here. Okay, so placing this on your chest here, just go ahead and breathe in normally for me. Good. sounds normal there okay now what I want to do is just take a look at your face so just look straight ahead I'm just gonna take a look maybe feel around a little bit okay have you noticed anything out of the ordinary uh, as far as any of your senses go issues hearing smelling tasting Trouble with feeling in your face, vision, anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a feel of your neck here. Okay, all right, everything feels normal, so that's good. What I wanna do, um, also, before we dive in, is just take a quick look at your hairline and your scalp, just mm -hmm. to sort of have a basic understanding of the health of your, your head. So, I'm going to come over to this side real quick, and just take a look really, a really quick physical examination of your hair scalp. Check this side now. Okay, everything looks fine there. No issues at all. So you do a really good job taking care of your head and scalp. So keep whatever you're doing, keep up the good work. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started with your eyes here. So what we're going to do is just take a look at your eyes, check your uh, pupillary response when I introduce some light uh, to it, as well as just uh, have you perform a series of follow my fingers exam um, and other similar things. So uh, really quickly, okay, just look right here at my nose. Don't worry about my light. Okay, I'm going to introduce it to your field of view here. So just focus on my nose. Good, same thing, focus on my nose. Very good, my friend. I'm gonna have you take a quick look at this Snell and Jart just to get a very Again, very basic understanding of your ability to see. If there's any issues with this, I will recommend you to visit an optometrist to get a further understanding of what may be going on with your vision. But just while we're here, so I understand um, kind of how your eyes are operating, 
gonna ask you to take a look at this snow chart. So, if you don't mind reading this fourth line down here, good. Can you read this line? Good. Let's go down one more line here. Can you read this line? Good. You think you can try the very bottom line? Maybe read it right to left this time. Okay. Very good. All right. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to cover one eye. Take a look at your people there response. Let me know when you're able to see my light in your eye, okay? Good. 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 Very good work, my friend. Same exact thing, other eye now, okay? Is this uh, causing you any stress or anything like that? You feeling okay? Good, good. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Taking a look at your other eye now. Same thing. Focus on my nose here. Good. 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 Fantastic work, my friend. Fantastic work. inside this eye here. Okay, and then what about these lines on the outside? What color do you see? Red. Good job. Okay. And how about with this? What do you see here? A little piggy. Good. What color is the piggy? The piggy is pink. Yeah, good job. And one more of these little fun things. What color do you see here? And what do you see? What is this? A nice smiley face. Yep, yeah, perfect. Good job. Very, very good job. These things are very fun. Um, oh, I almost forgot. I do want to take your temperature just to see if you're running a temperature. You didn't feel like you were when I felt around your neck, but we want to be sure. So I'm going to go ahead and pop our um, thermometer out here. And we will go ahead and put a Nice, fresh cover on it. Things can be quite finicky. Good. 
Okay. All right. That looks normal. Thank you for letting me do that. I'm sorry I forgot to do that earlier. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take a look physically at your eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull your eyelid down here, starting with your left eye, pulling down the eyelid, and taking a look at the eye of. And also seeing if you're experiencing any discomfort when I touch around your eyes. So, as far as me feeling around is concerned, is there anything that I'm doing that's causing you any discomfort at all? How about when I touch around on your right eye here, do you feel anything that's causing you any sort of discomfort at all? Okay. Good. Okay, now, let me know when my fingers enter your field of view. Just focus straight here on my nose, okay? And you're just gonna say yes when you see something, okay? Good. Just like that, perfect. Good. 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 How many fingers am I holding up? How about now? How about now? How about now? Okay. Just checking to see if there's any excess redness or disturbances with the Straight here into my light, please. And I'm just checking to see the eye health again. Basic physical examination. Again, if there's any issues, I will recommend you to an optometrist for further investigation. But just as a general check here, I'm not seeing anything to be concerned about. Take a look at the right eye here. You're doing a really good job, by the way. Keep up the good work. Look right here in my light. Thank you. And look up to the ceiling for me. Thank you. Look down to the floor. You have nothing to be concerned about with your eyes, so great job on that test. What we're going to do now is move to your sense of smell. And uh, very simple test here. What I'll be using is a scented solution. There's four different solutions here. Uh, they come in these nice little jars. I have them labeled. You can't see the labels, and I'll take a sample um, from this using a cotton swab Q-tip, and I'll place it in front of your nose. You'll take a nice whiff. Once you get a good enough smell, you will proceed to tell me what sort of fragrance uh, you're picking up on. Pretty simple. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and do the first one here. solution is sort of a creamy yellow color that's no indication of what uh, fragrance you'll smell. So go ahead and take a nice smell of that. 
Good. What do you think it smells like? Banana, yeah. Well, you would have guessed correctly if you, you know, thought it was something yellow, but I threw you off there. My apologies. Um, but yes, it is banana. Nice coincidence there. All right, same thing here. We're going to move on to scent number two. smell of that. What does that smell like? That one is vanilla. Very, very good. Good job. Like I said, these are very simple tests, so um, you're doing flawless so far, though. Keep up the great work. Place this jar over to the side. Grab our next one here. Fragrance number three, scent number three, what do you smell there? That one smells like strawberries. Yep, great work. The berry family of scents can be kind of difficult. They have to really exaggerate the strawberry smell, which I'm not sure how they do that, but sometimes people do say um, raspberry or something similar instead of strawberry, and I usually just say correct because they're very similar as far as the berries go, but let's uh, move on to scent number four now. And our cotton swab. Take a nice whiff of this one. What does that smell like? That one smells like coffee. Yes, fantastic work, my friend. More like a latte, but it's kind of a creamy coffee scent. Yeah, good job. Very, very good. Okay, well, your nose is working. Just fine. What I do want to do, uh, as always, is also take a physical look uh, into your nose and at your nose. So go ahead and tilt your head up for me, and I will take a look here. Thank you. Just gonna lift you, and don't worry if there's any boogies up there, okay? I see them all the time. Gonna lift your nose here. And Left nostril here, good. Looking very healthy. And let's take a look at your right nostril here, lifting up and taking a look into the nostril. Checking for any blockages or anything out of the ordinary uh, with your nasal passage. Everything looks Fantastic there. I want to look at the uh, health of the nose as well. So just work out, take a feel there on the bridge of your nose. Do you feel anything there that's uncomfortable when I pinch on the bridge of your nose? All right, I'm going to come. 
come over to this side now. Take a look at your other side here. So I'm just going to feel on your nostril. Feeling on the bridge of your nose. And I'm going to go ahead and pinch your nostrils together. Um, really quickly, not too hard. Just sort of try to breathe out through your nose here. Good. Okay. Great job. Um, what I want to do now is test your sense of taste. A lot of the patients find this part particularly relaxing and enjoyable because some of these tastes, um, this taste test rather, is, is pretty delicious and it might make you a little hungry. So, um, what I have here are a series of vials that do test your taste. what they look like and as to not uh, give up away with what this one tastes like I'm gonna cover the label but it's essentially just strands of paper that are already pre flavored So let's go ahead and start with this first one here. You ready? Yeah, all you need to do is just stick your tongue out. I will gently place this towards the back of your tongue where your taste buds are. You'll close your mouth, you'll take a moment, and then you should be able to tell me what you taste, okay? So, tongue out really quickly, thank you. Good. And you can go ahead and put your tongue back in your mouth. Take your time. That one is plum. And I know that it's sort of a unique fruit. Grape is what I get as well, but that one is plum. Let's go to this next one now. This one is very obvious. It actually tastes very good as well. Okay, go ahead and stick your tongue out for me. Blueberry, yep, you got that one quick. That one's that one's very very obvious. Moving on to our third now. Okay, stick your tongue out for me, thank you. mango. Yeah, very, very, very strong. But it is mango. Okay, moving on to our fourth and our final taste. with that one. Yeah, that one's greens. So you could say spinach, salad, broccoli, anything like that, and you would get that one correct. So, yeah, good job. All right, let's go ahead and place this down here. I do want to take a physical look into your mouth. You're not going to like this part as much. It's only going to last a second, but I'm going to get a tongue compressor here to take a better look at the back of your throat. So I'll be using my flashlight as well. 
Go ahead and open your mouth. Stick your tongue out as wide as you can. And just taking a quick look. Okay. I told you that one would be fast. Good job. Now I'm going to have you open your mouth again. I'm going to take a physical look with my eyes here. Okay. So just tongue out for me. Thank you. And can you put the tongue to the left side of your mouth? Good. Can you move your tongue to the right side of your mouth now? Okay, put your tongue on the roof of your mouth now. Good. And stick your tongue out as far as you can. Great job. Fantastic work, my friend. And with that, we are three of five finished. What we're going to check now is your ability to hear. Um, so with this one, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and I'm going to be moving from side to side, uh, doing a series of tests. Just follow my instructions. Very easy. But again, first thing first, just close your eyes. Okay. So with your eyes closed, I'm going to come over here to this left ear. Okay. I'm going to whisper a series of words into your ear and all you have to do is just Good. Now I'm going to move over to your right ear. We're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. After this, I'm going to test both ears at the same time using sort of glove sounds and we'll figure out which ear is doing better than the other. Okay. Or if they're the same, which is what we do want. So. Great job, my friend. That one's perfect as well. So what we're going to do now is, like I said, do some glove sounds in your ears. So sort of like this. And it should be pretty obvious when you hear that, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, do that at the same time, but I'm going to move my gloves further away, okay? Let me know if one or the other, one ear or the other, rather, is unable to hear the glove before the other one. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a shot here. Okay, so it's 
pretty impossible to differentiate which one you couldn't hear first. Good. Okay, let's try that again. work. Very, very good. Okay, what I'm going to do now is use my light here to take a look into your ears. Just coming over to your left ear here, pulling the ear down, and we're going to just take a look. Taking a look into the ear. Just looking for anything that shouldn't be there. Any excess. That ear looks really good. So we're going to take a look at your right ear now. And I'm expecting to see the same thing based on your hearing, or ability to hear, rather. So there should be no concerns here. Let's go ahead and take a look, though. Looking into the ear canal, looking for, again, any sort of redness, blockages. No issues at all there. Great work. Okay, what we're gonna do now, and uh, again, another exam uh, that my patients tend to find more relaxing than some of the others, is feeling around on your face and testing your ability to feel on your face. So I do have a kit here that we'll be using. Uh, includes some soft uh, tips as well as some hard tips. And uh, we'll be testing your ability to, to feel on your face. You'll have your eyes closed again for this one. But essentially what it is is just a, a kit of tools here. So looks a little intimidating, but I promise there's nothing to be concerned about. So the first thing we're going to do is get a base understanding so that you know what to expect on this exam. Okay, what I have here is a feather and a more sort of coarse brush. So what I'll do is I'll brush your face with the feather. And then I'll do the same with our coarse brush. There should have been an obvious difference there. There was. Good. Okay. So with your eyes closed, I'll be doing that on different parts of your face. And you just tell me hard or soft. Simple as that. Beautiful. Okay. Eyes closed. Soft. Hard. Soft. Hard. Excuse the noise if you hear that. That's just the uh, the gardener doing the weekly trimming around the windows. They pick the best times for these things. And then an airplane. But, you know, we can't control the sky. Okay. You're doing a great job. Good. Very, very good job, my friend. 
So it seems as though you have no issues with that sort of stuff. That's good. I didn't think you would, but we have to check anyways, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is feel around your face with my hands. So I'll just, I'm gonna go ahead and just give your cheek a tap. Is any of that uncomfortable at all? No discomfort there either. Good. How about your chin area here? And your forehead. Okay, well, that's good. Then. So, good afternoon. it is my pleasure to tell you that you passed good every afternoon. single exam we did here today with flying Brilliant. colors, and you have no issues at all with your cranial nerves. You're a neurologist. Well, I'm glad so that that makes you feel nerve. better. If there's anything else you ever need, you know where to find me. And it was a, a great, great, great time to see you today. And I appreciate you choosing me. So you have to die. As your favorite doctor. Slash has some sort of head injury or something. I'll see you again very soon. Concussion. Good night. Gotcha. gotcha. So you're more or less just going through the protocol and make sure you don't have any neurological damage going on. You have a CT scan they don't want to. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, well, no problem. Um, well, I'll be your, uh, GP today and uh, let you know that I've been doing this for right around 15 years, so you're in good hands. Um, this is a uh, very uh, invasive procedure, if you even want to call it that. A lot of people find it relaxing, so um, you really have to do much. Just kind of sit back and follow my instructions, okay? All right, sounds good. So this uh, test is going to consist of four parts. I'm gonna test your eyesight, okay? I'm gonna test your uh, smell. I'm gonna uh, test your taste as well as your hearing, okay? Um, so, first I'm gonna go get my hand sanitized and uh, let me uh, check your temperature. I'm also gonna gauge your heartbeat, okay? Awesome, thank you. So, uh, you play sports or anything or is Oh, gotcha. Okay, well, I'm glad you only got a concussion, my friend. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Okay, well, let me get your uh, temperature right quick. Don't you worry. We have a sanitized tip on here, so go ahead and open your mouth for me. And that'll give me a beep when it's ready. Perfect. All right, 98.6. So you're good and healthy there. And I'm just gonna dispose of this tip. Put this back in my pocket. All right, so let's start out with a, uh, well, the thermometer is beeping at me. Perfect. Let's start out with getting a uh, test your eyesight here. Why don't we? Have you been uh, sensitive the past few days to any light or anything? Not that you can think of. Okay, good. Well, it shouldn't be too much of an issue then. All right, what I need you to do for me here Keep your eyes on my finger. I'm just gonna shine this light in your eyes. Test out your pupillary response. Okay? Perfect. Here we go. All right, your right eye is looking good so far. Take a look at my finger here. Thank you. Yeah, focus right here on my finger. Perfect. Perfect, you're doing really good. Keep looking here. Great, awesome. How many fingers I got? Two? Great. Six, six, yeah, perfect. Good deal, okay. Would you look over here for me? Good. All right, I'm gonna cover your left eye. I need you to look right. Yeah, I need you to look to the right. 
job. And that right pupil is responding beautifully, so that's a good sign. Now I'm going to cover your right eye. Look left for me, please. Yep, just take a look to the left. Okay, good. Do you have any sensitivity around your eyes? Not really. Okay, mind if I poke around? Good, okay. Let me know if any of this is uncomfortable for you, okay? Perfect. Here we go. Any of that bothering you at all? No. How about now? Good? Perfect. Here my stomach growling. About that time for lunch, right? Any sensitivity yet? Okay, good. Awesome. Or else test extra peripheral here. A lot of times if you get people get concussions, uh, it can kind of hurt your give you give you a little headache to really stretch your, your eyes and you know look to the maximum reach. So let's see if that's bothering you real quick. Okay. So what we're gonna do, all right, focus on my nose. Let me know when you my finger leave your peripheral. Okay. Good. 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 Perfect. Follow my finger. Ain't that bothering you at all? Follow my finger. Okay, look at my nose. Yeah, just look right here at my nose. Doing great. Keep looking at my nose. Great job. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do me a favor. Look right here on my finger. Now look at this finger. Good. Look at my front finger. Good. Back finger. Great. Good job. Look at my front finger. Perfect. And follow my back finger. You're doing really good. You're doing really good. Okay. I think I'm good on your eyes there. I think you're looking good there. Might come back to it later. We'll see. Uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look in your ears. I'm going to clean them out. And uh, we're going to do a little hearing test after I get them cleaned up a little bit. Okay. We just want to make sure there's no blockage affecting this test. And it's, you know, it's one thing if wax is causing you to be able to not hear, but if you've got, uh, you know, damage to your eardrums, we want to make sure that there's not any variables getting in the way of that. Can we test it? Sound good? Yeah, not going to hurt at all. It's actually really relaxing. Yeah, okay, perfect. Well, what we have here is a little solution. And I grab two cotton balls out of here. Okay. And we're going to wipe down your left ear first. Okay. Right. Take a look at your left ear, do you mind? Okay. Let me know if you can hear this. Ears looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna take a look at your uh, your right ear now.
Okay, this is kind of just like a saline solution, more or less. Make sure we get it real good and saturated. Okay. Let me know if you can hear this. Take a look in the. You ready? You have to take a look in your. Right here. to uh, brush around your ears. You let me know if you can hear this, okay? Hear that? Good. You hear that? Great. Good, good. All right. A little test here. Do some fling, finger flutters around your ears. Let me know when you can't hear this anymore, okay? All right, I'm going to your right ear right now. You ready? Good. You're doing great. You're doing perfect. Let me know when you can't hear this anymore. Good. Very good. All right, we're going to your left ear now. Let me know when you cannot hear this anymore. You're doing really good. Okay, I think we're good there. Yeah. Any discomfort? Any discomfort now? Good. Great. We're doing really good. Uh, I think now we can move on to our uh, taste test. Okay, good. So. I have here is a bag of um, disposable uh, flavor packs. It's uh, artificially flavored um, corn syrup, just to kind of give you a, um, understanding, knowledge of what you're putting in your mouth. You okay with that? That's actually pretty good. Tastes pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So, we actually use the same uh, um, packs to uh, test your sense of smell as well. So, I'm going to grab four random ones out of here um, to test your taste, and then we'll uh, dispose of these, grab four more, and we're going to test your uh, sense of smell afterwards. After that, I might have one more quick look at your eyes, and then I think we'll be uh, good to get you out of here. But so far, you are looking fantastic, and nothing but good results here. See, I told you didn't have anything to worry about. Good. Okie dokie. Let's stick these in here. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna have you open your mouth, and I'm gonna put just a little dab on the tip of your tongue. Okay, give you a few seconds to figure out what, uh, what the taste is, and just let me know once you think you know what it is, okay? Awesome, you're doing perfect. You relaxed? Good. Perfect. Okay. All right. Open your mouth for me. Say ah. Oh. Stick your tongue out. Okay. What's that taste like? Blueberry. Perfect. Good job. All right. Move on to the next one. Open up. Say ah. You didn't get a good taste. You want to try again? Okay. Open up. What flavor is that? 
Yeah, perfect mango. Yep. Love the fruit flavors. One of these days they're gonna get a a booger flavor one. You'll be in trouble then. <laughs> okay, you ready? All right, open up for me. This is my favorite one. Coffee, yep. Great job. Yep, everyone knows that, that one. All right, I got one more. Okay, open up. Uh, what's that one? It's kind of tricky. Yeah, close enough, it's lime. Lemon, lime, tomato, tomato, you know, <laughs> kind of the same stuff, but okay. Well, hey, you did really good right there. And uh, about ready to move on to your uh, your sense of smell here, but first let me uh, take a look inside your mouth. Can you open up for me? Say, ah. Say, ah. I left your tongue for me like this. Thank you. Yeah, good. Looking good. Okay. Well, I'm gonna grab four more packs and we're gonna uh, test your sense of smell and uh, get close to wrapping up and getting you out of here. Okay. You're doing great. Yeah, it's always kind of fun doing this, to be honest. Kind of like, a, like an elementary kind of test, but it's, you know, it's relaxing. And it gives me an idea of where you're at neurologically. If you're failing these tests, you got some, uh, definitely would be concerned, but you're doing really well, so be out of here in no time. Alright, you ready? We're gonna, I'm gonna, yep, yeah, I'm gonna weigh these right in front of your nose, okay? Kind of waft it at you. And, uh, you take your time, but let me know, you know, once you think you know what it is, okay? Just let me know. Alright, you ready? What do you think that is? This one's kind of tricky. Yeah, yeah, watermelon. Good job. I wouldn't get that one right. I think that was a lucky guess, but that's a tough one. So, good job. This one's actually a little easier. You ready? Yeah, sometimes that, that uh, smell gets stuck in your nose from the last one, kind of mess you up for the next one. But uh, this will clear your senses up. Yeah, this one's kind of, this one's kind of strong. Yeah, like black licorice, yeah. It's terrible. Sorry, I had to do that to you. At least that wasn't one of the ones you had to taste, right? Okay. Hey, you're doing a great job, by the way. Really are. Nothing wrong with you at all. Mm-hmm. That's banana. Good job. That one always makes me want a banana smoothie. <laughs> I have to go get some lunch after this, actually. I'm pretty hungry. Okay, last but not least. What does that smell like? Cinnamon, correct. Great job. Fantastic job. Yeah, you're doing A1, honestly. You are passing with flying colors. All right, real quick, let's do a little test, a skin test. Sometimes when you get concussions, you can get neurological damage or nerve damage to your face. And uh, certain parts of your face can, you know, be numb for whatever reason. Usually it uh, fixes itself over time, but um, just to kind of get a stance on where you're at with the, the concussion. I'm gonna go ahead and do this test. 
And what it is is uh, I've got a, a, a round blunt point and I've got a, a slightly sharper point on this pin, okay? I need you to close your eyes for me, all right? And I'm gonna go around your face and I'm gonna poke um, in random spots. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell me whether it was the uh, blunt side or the sharp side. Easy enough? All right, perfect. All right, well, close your eyes for me. And what was that? Sharp, good. Blunt, good. Blunt, good. Blunt, good. Sharp, yeah. Sharp. Blunt. And sharp. Great job. Fantastic job. I just want to revisit your eyes real quick, like I said I would. Um, just real quick. I'm going to really get in here, okay, and try to look at the back of your eyes and uh, try to figure out kind of um, if there's anything, you know, disconnected or something that I should be concerned about looking into the back of your pupil. And I don't think there is based on the uh, previous tests we've done, and your eyes look to be responding, you know, as they should, but uh, it never hurts to just double check. And, uh, before I clear you with your neurologist. So, if you don't mind, I'm gonna get in your uh, in your bubble and uh, take a look. You ready? All right, this will be a little bit bright, but we'll get through it. not bothering you badly, is it? Okay. I'm gonna look at this finger for me, please. Yep, keep watching it. Great. Well, my friend, I think that about sums you up. You, uh, you did a really good job with all those tests and absolutely nothing to be concerned about. job. Uh, with that, you know, you're, you're free to go. Yeah, well, you're welcome. I'm glad I could be of service. I've been doing this for a long time. And it's always a, uh, you know, a pleasure and it always makes me happy. It never, never gets dull to see somebody uh, do well and be healthy. So you've done, you've done that and you've, you know, in return put me in a good mood. So thank you. No, don't mention it. Don't mention it. Um, if you uh, ever need anything else from me, uh, you know where to find me. You can give me a call anytime. Uh, I'll leave my card before you get out of here. And uh, stay safe and have a great day, okay? Yeah, you too. All right, bye. Good afternoon. What brings you into my office today? Okay, just getting a cranial nerve exam. Sure thing. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started then. I'm gonna pop my gloves on so that I don't get any bacteria on you while I'm going through this. Pretty straightforward testing. I'm gonna be testing your eyes, your sense of smell, your sense of taste, your ability to hear, and also your touch as well around your face, shoulders, and all that good stuff. Started, I'm going to be listening to your heart and your lungs. Just to get a basic understanding of your resting heart rate. Assuming you didn't run here. Okay. All right. I'm just going to pop my 
stethoscope in here. Wonderful. And just go ahead and bring it normally for me, please. Just put this on your chest like so. And everything sounds great. the side now, listening to your lungs. Beautiful work, my friend. Everything sounds just as it should, so. In regards to the cranial nerve exam, do you have any preference on what we start with first? Hearing, smell, taste, vision. You wanna start with a sense of taste first. Okay, we can do that. So for this uh, exam, I have a uh, assortment of different flavors uh, and bottles like this. It's just um, corn syrup with different artificial and natural flavors, but again, just relax, make yourself comfortable. I'm going to be logging my findings, and uh, we'll get you out of here in no time, so making sure this is all mixed up. You'll just stick your tongue out and I'll place a few drops on there and tell me what you can taste, okay? Yeah, perfect. Okay. We'll get our second batch here. I'm going to make sure it's all mixed up again, so we'll The same thing here, just stick your tongue out whenever you're ready. Okay. And a fair amount there. And what's that one taste like? Coffee. Beautiful. Okay. This one might be a little confusing to you, but you shouldn't be able to get it right. Okay, go ahead and stick your tongue out for me. Thank you. And... What does that one taste like? Perfect, yep, that's just salt. No crazy fragrance, or flavor rather. Just pure salt. Pretty strong, I know, I apologize, but to test your 
ability to taste. So we know that that receptor is working. Okay. Now I have one more here. And this one is my favorite, so I saved the best for last. Okay. And this might make you a little hungry. Okay. Just gonna mix it up good and neat like so. Just making sure I don't give you a concentrated. Might be a little overbearing if it's over concentrated, so here you go, stick your tongue out. Ah, good. Okay. What'd that one taste like? Tiramisu. Beautiful. Yep. That is exactly right. So great job, my friend. You passed that portion with flying colors. Um, now, is there a preference on what you have to do next? Maybe a hearing test. Okay, we'll do that. All right, so this one's really simple. I am gonna use my ophthalmoscope here to take a look into your ears, make sure there's nothing blocking the ear canals to prevent you from being able to hear properly in your left ear and your right ear, respectively. So first thing, be able to hear well in your left ear unless your eardrum is damaged which didn't look to be and then Again, that ear also looks good to go. Okay, yep. So what I'm gonna do now is perform uh, some tests just to see how your hearing holds up in uh, correlation from one ear to the other. Uh, sort of checking uh, the hearing in one and checking the hearing same thing in the other to make sure that they're working in tandem with one another so a lot of times we'll have a hearing loss in one ear and not the other vice versa so we just want to make sure that that's not the case so i'm going to be saying a series of words Good. 
Let's just go ahead and check your other ear now. Testing your hearing. Good job. Okay, now I'm gonna make us um, sort of a fluttering sound uh, in both ears. I'm gonna do it at the same time and move my hands further and further away. Let me know if you are not able to hear my fingers fluttering in one ear before you're able to hear it in the other. Okay. So if it's about the same time, you can no longer hear it. That's cool. If there's one ear you can't hear it in, but you can still hear it in the other, please let me know. Okay. All right, well, we'll get started whenever you're ready. Okay. About the same? Good. see any discrepancy in the ear so that's good to know and your hearing seems to be just fine i was whispering pretty quietly there so if you had trouble hearing uh i don't think you would have passed this test but you did so um we've done sense of taste ability to hear now i want to go ahead and do a uh, sense of smell and for this test we have three different uh, fragrances as well as a neutralizer and then I'll be having you smell between each different fragrance just to reset the uh, uh, receptors okay so very simple I'm gonna be spraying the fragrances onto some wooden sticks you'll just take a big whiff tell me what you can smell and we'll go from there okay good so Go ahead and get three sticks here. Good. Place those down just like that. Okay, now you just let me know what you can smell. Can you smell there? Blueberries. Great job. Wonderful. And then we'll get our neutralizer. Same thing here, just That one is 
as vanilla. Fantastic work. Yes, yes, yes. Good job. Very, very good. And our neutralizer again. Take a big whiff of that. Good. Thank you. And our last fragrance here. Smells like bananas. Good job. Very, very good work, my friend. And just for old times, get that smell out of your nose. We'll use our neutralizer again. Good job. Great job, my friend. Now I'm gonna take a quick look into your nasal cavity here, so just lift your head for me, please. And taking a look at your other here, making sure that there's no obvious issues going on in the nose, but everything looks just fantastic. Good work. Okay. You haven't been noticing any issues as far as swelling or any issues with smell before our test today? Nothing like that. Okay, I'm going to take a quick feel around your nose here. Any discomfort when I press around there in your nasal cavity on your cheeks? Anything like that bothering you? Any discomfort? Okay, you're sure. Okay. All right, beautiful work. Um, what we're going to test now is your vision. This is going to be a little more intensive uh, and nothing too demanding for me, but just a, a few more tests than our previous uh, senses. So what we're going to start out with is a color blindness test, okay? So I have a little book. This is Ishahar test. We'll just go over a few slides here, nothing too crazy. Should be pretty straightforward. They should be able to see a number within these different palettes, okay? So for instance, our first one here. What number can you see in this image? Number 12, good work. page what number you see in there number eight good and then how about this page might be a little more tricky but you should be able to see a number five good work let's skip ahead a little bit because there's more of the same there on those this one's getting a little more tricky here seven good and then how about here forty five and we'll move ahead here how about here on this page what number can you see on this page sixteen beautiful work my dear friend good job and then last, but certainly not least, how about this page here? This is a very nice color way. 96, good. Well, turns out you're not colorblind, so that's good to know. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is 
look into your eyes with my light here just to examine your pupils and different parts of the eye. So if you don't mind, if you can, focus on those medical items behind me. Maybe the lamp, maybe the little set of drawers here. Just ignore me. I'm going to be getting pretty close here, pulling your eyelid down, and checking the health of your pupil, testing your response as well as the condition of your sclera and your iris, and your cornea, conjunctiva, and all the other eye parts that Looking for any redness or discoloration, any foreign objects that aren't supposed to be there. Okay, can you do me a favor now? Look up the ceiling using your eyes only. Thank you. Look up. Okay, look down. Look to the left. Good. And look to the right. Great work. Fantastic job. Okay, same thing on this other eye now. Pulling the eyelid down. Checking for any discoloration. The sclera as it meets the iris. Checking the overall health of the eye here. ceiling. I'm going to lift your lid now. Look up to the ceiling. Good. Look down to the floor now. Thank you. Take a look to the left. Good. And to the right. Good. Can you look up to the top right now? Top left. Bottom left. And bottom right. Good. Can you look straight into my light now, please? Look straight. Great work, my friend. All right. chart as well as a little measuring stick here. I'm going to be introducing light to your eyes, checking your pupil size at its largest dilation and its smallest. So I'm going to be doing that between the two eyes to make sure that they're operating sort of on the same uh, same uh, wavelength here. So give you a nice warm light. Beautiful work, my friend. And again here. Look into my light. Looking into my light. Good. Okay, you're about a three to a six there, which is pretty standard with this particular light. It's not a very harsh light, but it just allows me to see the difference in them. Uh, my new changes when I introduce the light. So, good. All right, now what I want to do, I'm going to cover one eye, okay? And I'm just going to do a series of tests, numbers with my fingers. You just tell me what number I'm holding up, okay? All right, here we go. Back up a little bit here, covering one eye, and how many fingers? 
fingers do so. Good. How about now? Three. Good. How about now? Four. Good. How about now? Good work. And same thing on this side, covering up your left eye. How many fingers do you see? Good. How about now? Three. Good. How about now? Good. How about now? And now. Great work, my friend. Great work. Okay. Now I'm going to do a quick peripheral test. You just let me know when my finger enters your field of view. Okay? Just look straight here at me. Don't look anywhere else. Keep your eyes fixed right here on my nose if you can. Okay. And here we go. Good. 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 Getting a little closer now. Just continue. Great work, my friend. So, I think that's going to sum it up for our vision test really briefly, though. And I'm not an optometrist, so we'll leave that to your eye doctor, but just to get a base understanding of how your eyes are working and maybe give you a hint whether or not you do need to see an optometrist. We're going to go over this snow and chart really quick, okay? So, just can you read the line that I'm pointing to here, left to right? Good. How about the line under? Okay, do you think you can read this line here? Okay. And this is probably pretty difficult, but can you read this line right to left for me? Great job. Very, very good job. So that's our sense of taste, hearing, smell, seeing. Now what we need to do is just test your sense of feeling. So I'm going to be getting a little closer for this part of the test. And what I'm going to be doing is just feeling around your face. I'm sort of poking, um, tapping, and just feeling around to make sure that you don't have any nerve damage anywhere on your face. Okay. So closed. I'm going to be tapping around. You just tell me where I'm tapping and you can feel it obviously. So go ahead and close your eyes. Thank you. And on your forehead. Good. Your cheek. Other cheek. discomfort there. Okay. All right, what I have here is a hard uh, metal rod, and I'm going to be tapping around your face with that. It's rotating between that and my finger. So you tell me hard or soft, okay? Eyes closed.
Good work, my friend. Okay, what I want to do now is press down your shoulders, lift up on your arms, pull them out, pull them around. Uh, have you apply pressure with your head, okay, and your neck area, and all that good stuff, just to test out your bodily functions here. So just on your shoulders here, pulling your shoulders down. Lift your arms up for me. out. Pull away from me. Good. And same thing here. Oh, that's really good. That's good. Okay. Well, my friend, everything looks fantastic and you did a great job. It's always good to have, come back in and get a cranial nerve exam just to check your baseline health. And so I appreciate you coming in today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments, and I appreciate you watching. See you next time.